I'd like to talk about FUE and strip harvest. So again, FUE stands for follicular unit extraction, and that's removing follicular units, the naturally occurring groups of hair on your scalp, one at a time. The other method is strip harvest. And in that method, we actually remove a small strip of skin from the donor area. We do suture that area closed. The way we produce the grafts from that is we take that strip, we put it under microscopes, and remove the individual follicular units. So in essence, when we put the grafts in your head, a two hair graft or a three hair graft, for example, looks the same whether it came directly from your scalp or if it came out of a strip. So in my mind and in my practice with my experience, the results from FUE and strip harvest are exactly the same in terms of cosmetic outcome 10 months after the grafts grow out. The difference is how you want to treat your donor area. With follicular unit extraction and removing those grafts one at a time, the area at the back of the scalp just has a very small, less than a 25th of an inch circular scar that is left from the extraction method. Now you may have a thousand or two thousand of those in the back of your scalp, but because it does not leave a linear scar, you do have the option of wearing your hair very short. Some patients can wear it down as short as an eighth of an inch without any visibility that they've had any surgical procedure. Strip harvest, the cosmetic results again are, are great on the top of the scalp, but it does leave a linear scar. And even if it heals with a very, very fine uh, outcome, if you cut your hair too short, you may actually see evidence that you've had a surgery performed. And in some cases, people that want to wear their hair short, say they're in the military and they don't have an option of wearing their hair longer, a strip harvest may not be uh, a great choice for them.